coal-fired live steam test of the Castle Steam V6 boiler in three parts. This is part two, testing the steaming capabilities of the boiler. The boiler is supplying a generous amount of steam to the 5A, don't forget it's a big engine. And at the moment on the pressure gauge it's showing about 83 pounds per square inch. The steam blower valve is only slightly opened. There's not a lot of steam going up the chimney to draw the fire. Apart from having a steam blower, there's also an exhaust pipe that goes up the chimney. So I could connect the exhaust from the 5A to this fitting, but it's a bit on the small side for a 5A. I'm controlling the drafting of the boiler, that's the amount of air that's been pulled through the fire, by the blower valve alone. And I really don't need much steam to go up the chimney to draw the fire, it seems to be doing quite well by itself. And if the exhaust blast from the 5A steam engine was also going up the chimney, I think that would be a bit too much and the boiler would become unmanageable. As well as fitting a live steam injector, I'm definitely going to fit a larger hand pump to this boiler because I'm pumping all the time. A 5A is a big engine so it's using quite a lot of water and I'm topping up the boiler constantly. This hand pump has a 5 8 diameter ram. I'm going to buy one that has a 3 quarter of an inch diameter ram. That will be much better. But really, I don't intend to sit here pumping water into this boiler. I will let the live steam injector do that when I fit it. I've broken quite a few rules of steam boiler management in this series. For instance, you should never pump water into a boiler and open the fire hole door and shovel coal in there. That's the water gauge blowdown valve, I'm just checking the level. The general rule with steam boilers is you always have to be doing something. It's a systematic approach. What's the water level like? It's a bit low. OK, let's pump some in. Oh dear, I've forgotten to put some coal on the fire, so I'll open the fire hole door now and put a lot of coal on the fire. I will have the fire hole door open for a long time, so cold air will rush up the tubes and the pressure will drop alarmingly. I'm not taking for granted the fact that this 5A is running at this speed. When I run the Stuart 5A on my air compressor in the workshop, it uses all the air from the reservoir within about one minute. It is quite a small compressor though. That noise you can hear is me just opening the blower because the pressure's dropping and that's mainly due to the fact that the blower valve was fully shut. How is this boiler supplying enough steam to run a 5A at this speed? OK, it's not under load, but it doesn't need to be. For every revolution of the crankshaft, the engine is consuming quite a large volume of steam. When the water level in the boiler gets close to the top of the water gauge, you'll hear a noise. That's because the boiler's still quite new and it's priming slightly, but not very much at all. As an estimate, I would say that this 5 eighths of an inch diameter hand pump is putting about a tablespoonful of water in at every stroke. And that's a lot of cold water, so why isn't the pressure dropping? Well, it's fitted with a very clever economizer. From the inlet on the boiler, the water first of all goes around a coil which sits on top of the fire tubes. Then before it's admitted to the boiler, it goes way down inside the boiler and the water enters the boiler immediately above the firebox. And that part of the boiler is very hot indeed. Look at the speed that the 5A is doing now. I open the blower slightly and in no time at all the pressure is going back up to 100 pounds per square inch. And if I continue pumping water into the boiler you will notice that the pressure is not going below 100 pounds per square inch. This is a fantastic heat exchanger. In this part of the clip I have turned the blower up a little bit so there's a bit more blast going up the chimney and I bet the fire is really hot in there. I can feel the heat from here. This is the ideal. I'm constantly pumping a stream of cold water into the boiler to make up for the loss of the water which has been evaporated as the engine uses the steam. And despite pumping merrily on the hand pump as usual, you can see the pressure is sitting at 100 pounds per square inch. And the 5A is starting to run unfeasibly fast. I've never seen a 5A go as fast as this on a small boiler. The 5A runs quite well on the V6 boiler when it's been gas fired and that's using a simple gas burner that sits in place of the fire grate and the gas performance is very good. But as a coal fired boiler I really am amazed at this. I've never had a boiler of this size that's been so efficient before. And the fire is not exactly white hot. And in fact although it doesn't need it I'm putting some more coal on the fire just to settle it down a little bit. So what am I doing wrong here? 
Well, the fire hole door is open for an extended period and I'm putting too much coal on the fire and the fire was okay to start with and didn't need any coal. Well, that's plenty of coal. I think I'll just put one more on for luck and then I'm going to shut the fire hole door. The pressure has dropped from 100 pounds per square inch down to 80 and that's fine because that's the actual working pressure for a 5A. On the Stuart website it states 1.5 horsepower at 80 pounds per square inch. This part of the video is still running in real time, I just changed the angle of the shot and as you can see here I'm pumping some water into the boiler. There's still 80 pounds per square inch on the gauge and it's not dropping and the fire is what's called black. The entire top part of the fire is just unburnt coal. Oh yes, and the blower's not on either. So I don't know why this is not just dropping down to about £20 per square inch. I'll open the valve to the engine and run the engine once again and see how low it will go. And here I'm opening the blower. I open the blower valve to clear the condensate from the pipe and then I almost close it. So once again, the blower is not blasting up the chimney. And look at the state of the fire, that's terrible. I'll give it a bit of a poke and see if there's any life in there. How is this boiler managing to still supply steam to the 5A with a fire that is totally black? I think it must be witchcraft, I've never seen this before. As an educated guess though, if you have a look at the boiler, you will notice that below the fire hole door, there's quite a big gap and this is a good design because it allows you to have a very good depth of fire. Some steam boilers have a very shallow depth of fire and that's no good really because you get holes in the fire and you don't get enough heat. At the moment this boiler is feeding steam to the 5A. The pressure's dropped a little bit, it's down to 55 pounds per square inch. At least half of the fire is black unburnt coal and the blower valve is hardly opened at all. I'm now adding insult to injury by pumping some more water in to see how low the pressure will go. Now it's down to 50 pounds per square inch and I'm still pumping vigorously to get plenty of water into the boiler just to see how low I can get the pressure and that's a first. Normally it's a struggle to go the other way. With this boiler it's quite difficult to bring the pressure down. I have shortened this bit because it took ages and now we're down to about 45 pounds per square inch and I'm shoveling some more coal in. That's it for the narration part of the video. I'm just going to leave it running to the end you will be able to see and hear what's going on. And that's it for now. Thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful.